Hello, I am Jake. Um, this video is talking about um, how how a autistic person deals with going to a funeral. Um, the last video I said before, um, I'm going to do a video on my political beliefs. However, uh, it got a change uh, of mine because of a family member who died last week. Um, and I also thought that I not really interested in doing a politics related video, still got thinking of having a video on mental health, especially, especially on, um, autism. Um, um, uh, for this year, I went to two funerals. Um, first one is in February and the sixth one is actually, um, yesterday, um, in July. As a autistic person, um, dying and death and, and also fitness in general is, it is a extremely difficult time for me. Um, with the February funeral, it's straight off of the Australian bus fires in January and I have to walk back to Pamela um, for the funeral and with the bus fires and the, a person dying my mind um, have a big background a uh, big big down and not leaning up to the first thing or I feel really sad. Um really angry because being honest with you, um have to go actually go back dealing with the best fires in January and all that issues and then go back to Canberra to study psychology and sociology and when I, I my mom calls me about a death in the family in February I have felt extremely distressed because um with the misorganization and I wanting to go back to normal again and it all changed again with with the funeral painting for um for the first funeral in February. Um with a pop a person with autism, um, on my, um, experience, different autistic people have different experience and what ways to, to be coping through a funeral and coping with a grief of a family member die or a friend dies. Um, with my, um, coping issues um a family member with the February funeral um a family member um give me a job um and at the church um my mind um focus on that job um speaking walk up over the coffin 
and I feel much more um, happy and more focused on that job, not focused on on the negative thoughts. Um, why I, a other side of me is why I going to a psychologist um, because got scared of dying too young and scared that I could have cancer of or tumor and for me a family member give me a job to do in a funeral it's much more um happy for me and focus on that job than than focus on death and dying and 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 sickness and and health i really become distressed when thinking of death and 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 cancer and dementia and alzheimer's i get extremely wine it um for the first funeral that's that doing well and then at the grave site i Peter Mons, um, can't remember properly, um, I, I think a really hot day and it is a big funeral, but, um, have, uh, I trying to talk to my family and I trying to not focus on the funeral itself and trying to look at something else in the same cemetery and um, what I do to not focus on my my distressing issues. Um of uh, the grave site for the first thing you know, um I went to the part to to celebrate that um a family member who died in February and with a a autistic person and my puzzle um coping strategies um I trying to talk to friends and family pretty much not focus on time bit um surface but I trying to focus on other issues uh other topics like a family member who works on the farm and what what the job on the farm I feel a lot happy when I focus on different topics and what um a other person um I talk to a other person on um what is dealing with um um as how oh, what yeah how a a um a teenager had had to drive and that topics what they're doing with driving lessons and what what they're going to choose at the at university or what they're doing at TAFE like um in British studies or hairdressing or something just talking up for my point of view make me a lot relaxed during a funeral of at a rake is call it um a lot trying to focus on different topics than than a person who died time bit surface and time bit um 
um, time beat surface and time beat um, into the same thing, but I didn't leave the coping strategy trying to calm me down a lot. For the second funeral, um, yesterday, it's somewhat harder because with the COVID-19 restrictions and can't have a bigger guarantee. Um, last week, a, a family, a other family member died and I, with the news of it, um, can't be clients, um, and I first thing I do is not being emotional when I, as my mom calls me and talking about um, a death in the family and first thought is trying a autistic person is extremely hard at emotions and after the phone call I remember I feel really fucked and really not really sad and not really happy I am flat, flat, and I don't know. Uh, it's a issue for um people going through um autism, um, handle emotions and having white emotions and all that. But what I um deal with um that. Um, and on Saturday, my mom picked me up at Canberra and drive down to Canberra. And that's really fine. And that's, um, that's, um, at that time, I dealing with, um, in Canberra, I dealing with lonely issues and and scared the thoughts of scared that I getting cancer or scared that I going to die uh die myself or something and when my mom picked me up at Canberra on Saturday I felt extremely relieved because I able to, with the COVID-19 restrictions, it treat me hard, but it's um, better than nothing, um, trying to socialize with some of the family members who able to go to the funeral in person, and, and um, dealing with um, what ways to discuss me. Um, like on Tuesday, especially, I designed to, I really interested in psychology and I really interested in mental health and mental health criticisms and all that. And on Tuesday, all day I did, um, I was seeing um, mental health videos on um, Citroen card, sorry for my language, um, autism, um, LGBTQ plus white videos, um, how to deal with death and all that on Tuesday and I feel so much happy and understand what I going through and learn more information about six, six sorry six and nine and ten sorry for my um language um and all that um hope a lot on 
luckily my mom decided to hand me a job um paying praise of a faithful and on Wednesday Wednesday morning I do um I remember that I focus on mental health videos most of the morning and see my videos on um on Sisania and and name I think one or two videos on politics but I've only pretty much only focused on mental health videos and I become extremely enjoy and focus off the funeral and and all that and I feel extremely happy. Um, um, at the funeral, I remember that yesterday. I remember it started at two o'clock, and at the chapel itself, um, I focus on my lines, the praise of the faithful. And I try to focus on the praise of the faithful, and that's um, trying to get my mind off the the negative thoughts I I had um, with yeah with death and all that. And also with with the COVID nineteen, I when I go out and coming into the chapel, I use hand sanitizer because I got a fear that I could catch um COVID nine coronavirus, and I got a major fear of that, and I trying to focus. Trying to be relaxed, um, I use hands, hand sanitizer a lot, as well. During the service itself, I just focus on my lines, and when I go up to the um, I forgot the name um, lepton, um, I just. Focus on the lines I said, and when I sit down, I pretty much I focus on the TV itself, and I trying to focus and I trying to distress myself and thinking of other thoughts other than um the funeral itself. When the funeral. The surface ends, and then the the coffin goes out of the chapel and go to the grave site. I what I do when I I am trying to be relaxed and not get stressed. I just focus on the um the camera, um, and. And just focus on it and look at um, what the other people um looking at, uh, looking at other people and trying to distress me to not focus on the surface itself. When I focus on the surface, I got um got ruminated thoughts and I become go through a dark place. When the um the surface ends at the gravesite um um have a small um not a celebrating but a a get together with some of the friends and family. Um, and 
at the event, I started to be when a when they're talking about longer people who died really long, and it's extremely sad and 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 extremely sad and 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 hopeful for the family who lost a long person but I becoming somewhat stressful at the sight of people talking about um people die really long and people um die and and people who got cancer or tumors and and all the major issues um i become stressed um and i with my coping strategy is coming from my with my support is saying you must breathe deeply have a big um air um breathe in and out really slowly and and also I decided to have a drink of water to to focus on on the drinking of the water then focus on the on the combination that they're having. Um and I did that. And when I having a panic attack the people combination around me it becomes unfocused and I don't know what they're saying at all and I know that I having a panic attack I know it a panic attack com coming and I go to the kitchen and have a drink of water um, and I try to calm myself down really be quickly and and also at the time I have a mask over me to to bring into the crowd not many people um, at the infant trying to bring in and not have a scene um, and I feel um, the dark coping Saturday it's it's work for me um, don't know work in the long term but at that time I work for me um, and that is the end of the event and that is what ways that I am I a autistic person dealing with death and dying and handing a funeral. Um a other thing if this um video is um this um trigger because got thoughts of suicide and and suicidal thoughts um um please um call knife line australia on one three one 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 four who deals with um suicidal thoughts and and harming thoughts um thoughts. Um thank you. I am Jake Greets and see you the next time I post a video on YouTube. Thank you.